in pneumonia. Pneumonia is consisting of two types. The one is called typical and another is called atypical. So typical pneumonia will there will be high grade fever, diffuse infiltrate and productive cup. Now the productive cup can be different like salmon color sputum the cause is staphylococcus aureus. Current jelly sputum the cause is clapsilla. Rusty sputum the cause is strep pneumonia. Green pigment sputum which are having fruity odor that is pseudomonas aeruginosa. Atypical pneumonia there will be low grade fever, diffuse infiltrate, dry cup. Now mycoplasma pneumonia it is the most common cause of atypical pneumonia. The patient is young with constitu constitutional symptom. Legionella it is an aggressive severe and 75% of mortality is there. There will be travel history. There will be also GIT symptom like nausea, omitting diarrhea and the people who are using air conditioner. Pneumocystic gyrovesi which is in immune compromised patient or in AIDS patient when the CD4 count is less than 200. There will be honeycomb kind of appearance on x-ray. So typical, typical pneumonia and atypical pneumonia. Now, if there is bronchogenic pneumonia, the cause is stiff aris, lower pneumonia, the cause is strep pneumonia, ICU, the cause is gram, gram negative, in COPD patient, the cause is uh, hemopolis influenza, and cystic fibrosis, the cause is uh, pseudomonas aeruginosa, and in the traveler, the cause is legionella. Now, there you will see cavitatory lesion. So, what are the causes of cavitatory lesion? Just remember eight cavity. Cavity is per cavitatory lesion, A is per aspergillosis, A is per abscess, I mean lung abscess, and A is per uh, aris, I mean stiff aris, and T is per TB.